This method can help answer key questions in the microbiology field, such as how a gene product that is difficult to express in E. coli purifies. The main advantages of this technique are that no enzymatic reaction other than PCR is required and common applications for protein purification can be used. Though this method can provide insight into protein purification in Streptococcus mutans, it can also be applied to other microbial species. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Mamiko Yamashita, a grad student from our laboratory. After primer design and genomic DNA extraction from Streptococcus mutans, perform the first PCR using the wild-type Streptococcus mutans and GTFC-disrupted Streptococcus mutans genome as the PCR templates. Amplify the regions harboring the downstream part of the GTFC gene and those harboring the spectinomycin resistance gene using the prepared GTFC forward and reverse primer and SPCR forward and reverse primer. Then, electrophoresis each PCR product on 1% agarose gel. Use a gel band cutter to excise the desired DNA fragments of approximately 1,000 base pairs and 2,000 base pairs from the gel into microcentrifuge tubes. Add 500 microliters of solubilizing buffer into each tube, and incubate them for 10 minutes at 56 degrees Celsius to dissolve the gel slices. Purify the fragments using silica membrane-based gel extraction method.